This is your Hebrew heritage simplified. This presentation is supplement to a previous video, which title and link I will leave in the description. That report used Flavius Josephus' Antiquities of the Jews, which provided the first known ethnicities to the groups that came from Noah's sons, listed in Genesis chapter 10. The the, we will use uh, procedures that identify groups from Shem, distinguish Israelite tribes, and find where they are based on regions heavily influenced by strictly Hebraic custom. The resources we will use are Holy Scripture, geography, and tradition specifically related to Jacobites. And we begin with the premise that from Shem descended Adam's seed which is a biblical view elaborated on in other videos. Here is the main region from a worldview that shows our focus area. We start at the Ark location marked by the X, since from there all people initially originated. Mankind spread from there into the major hub we know today as the Middle East and Central Asia. These are the first human groups attributed to Shem's sons. Some of these people we can recognize as modern people like the Assyrians, Syrians, Persians. Some of these no longer exist like the Tokenite, Chaldean and Spartan that are said to have been wiped out or assimilated with other groups. Plus Arabs from Eber describe the ethnicity of Ishmael's descendants, even though in a modern times, Arab is considered to be a language group. If your ancestry does not trace to any Middle Eastern group that you know of, and it identifies as Adam's seed, by the process of elimination, you are from a lost Israelite tribe. Now we need to find out where the tribes ended up. To do so, we find those communities of the world that are influenced by a uniquely Abrahamic custom of circumcision. It is difficult to find an area of the world that is not influenced with this specific practice. Other than gray areas that have no data, every colored section shows the various average ranges regionally. While we could expect to find this practice among Arab groups and among Semitic Jews, to have percentages we see in this depiction suggests the 10 lost tribes took this custom with them into captivity. Except for one of the tribes were born circumcised. So we should expect to find a nation that does not perform this procedure. Uh, lo and behold, we find a sole candidate in Japan. Uh, now, I would like to confirm that Japanese men are born circumcised, but I typed it into my search engine and all Noodle did was blush. So if you can think of a way to obtain this data that is moral, legal, and unobtrusive, please do let me know. because he will restore you from captivity and have compassion on you and gather you from all the nations to which the Lord your God has scattered you. Thank you.